Isaac, I can smell the contaminated air from here. It's spreading faster than I expected. I'm trying to isolate it, but it's not going to buy us much time. We have to get that thing off this ship. The chemicals you need are in the chemistry lab. I'll hack the door for you when you get there. You can't stand in the way of God's plan. The natural order. Are you... Are you blind left to rest? Looks like someone has reprogrammed the door locks on this deck. And recently, too. I guess we're not alone here after all. Someone doesn't want you in this part of the ship. station. Once you get the chemicals, you're also going to need a DNA sample of the alien tissue. I'll search the records for one. You can't hold me here. Push on along, Dr. Charles Mercer. I now Please have a live subject for myself. I'm eager to validate my tissue regeneration so theory. To to. Initial restraint was problematic, but now the patient's resting comfortably. He trusts me, Dr. Khan. He puts his life in my hands. He knows his part in all of this. Understands what I'm doing. The forehead has been swapped clean and marked. What are you doing with that? And I'm now attempting to create a passage to insert the sample no. tissue into the... Antigen Your fight for survival is admirable but pointless. Uh, and yet you keep on going. It almost makes me think that we had hope as a species. Am we the only one who sees that we have died out a long time ago? We just haven't accepted it yet. Stop running. Stop your struggle. Our future, your future, the future of our race ends here. Allow me to introduce you to humanity's child, the children that will replace us.
sample of the growth. According to lab records, there's an inert sample stored in the ICU. A Dr. Mercer was apparently doing intensive research on it. I've been trying to contact Hammond, but all I'm getting is static. Isaac, you've got to hurry. Your persistence surprises me. Holding on to your final breath, you claw your way along. You hold on to what was once your war. But now, it belongs to the children. Be glad of the knowledge that your death will bring their birth. Listen. Can you hear it? It's coming. Say your prayers.
analog, Dr. Chalice Mercer. The specimen continues to respond well to my experiments. Its cellular fortitude, not to mention elasticity, is remarkable. Dr. Kine, I'm sure, would disapprove. But I do not anticipate that issue as the good doctor is busying himself with the marker. As if that matters now. He has also succumbed to the same dementia that afflicted the colony. Only yesterday he told me he had spoken to his wife. But Amelia Kine has been dead for some years. <coughs> My subject grows restless. Patience. Your time is soon. Very soon. Adding to chemical compounds. Final mixing required. That's it, Isaac. Now you just need to... This has gone far enough. Accept your part in the God's plan. Embrace your own extinction. Life support system failure on the... Who the hell was that? Isaac, he's decompressed the entire deck and I'm being locked out of those systems. All the air has been vented in space. You should be able to bring it back online from the security station, but you don't have much time. got everything you need to make the poison. Now get back to the chemistry lab. What are you going to do? Do it fast. Get out of your breathing. You're cutting out, Hammond. I'm going to try to switch over. <sighs> Shit. I lost the signal. I'll continue scanning for his location. You have to get that compound mixed. I've got more intel on the atmosphere. A survivor's report says a massive creature entered the hydroponic deck from outside the ship. That's when the air quality began degrading. The survivor called it the Leviathan. station and get up to hydroponics as fast as you can. Still no response from Hammond, so be careful. There's no telling how contaminated that deck is. I'm beginning to truly admire your spirit, misplaced as it may be. I think... I think you should see the whole plan. You should not spurn the hive mind's offerings. You deserve to witness that at least.
Perhaps now you will understand. The work I have done must continue. Will continue. I, Dr. Charles Mercer, shall serve as the catalyst to the salvation of our species. These specimens will return to Earth with me. I will spread their divine glory across the entire planet. I will leave you with my creation. Embrace the inevitable. That's the last we see of that thing. I've managed to override Mercer's lockdown. There's a secondary tram station nearby and you can take it to hydroponics. Let's just hope there's enough time. 